in the end, really, it's going to be Godzilla and, and Kong. F-ing. That's really what it's going to be. But it's going to be yeah. real tasteful, like super tasteful. Lots of soft lighting, <laughs> candles, burning cities in their wake, that sort of thing. I think that there might be something that unifies both the monsters and maybe the audience. Yeah. Um, and that's in an article we wrote, and I know you guys were talking about this too. Um, we have one that went up called Godzilla vs. Kong. Trailer may reveal spoiler as the film's real villain by Collier Jennings. Thank you very much. And that spoiler is Mecha Godzilla and big mark for Mecha Godzilla right over here. Very, very, very happy to see that in two separate parts and a couple of others. I think it's kind of mentioned. Um, you see what could be Godzilla coming over, uh, like a group of people who are running downstairs, but you actually see it's like a metal kind of red glowing thing. And then also in the background of a shot, there is a clear indication that they are building something in the shape of a Godzilla that is fully charged. The acting theory, um, if I can say that, is that Mecha Godzilla is disguised as Godzilla in this. Which is not, which is like 100% canon. That is right? canon. Like in previous versions of Godzilla, he looked like Godzilla and his skin got melted off and then you got Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, that is a thousand percent true. <laughs> like this is exactly what he did. Now, it could be this, like, uh, well, we'll get to this in a minute, but because uh, I've got some commenters who, who want to talk about uh, uh, this whole idea that Mecha Godzilla could be the third runner in this, kind of like a Ross Perot for the older folks or a or a nader for yeah. some others. Um, Michael Michael Needham uh, just said that dumb, that dumb. Okay, doesn't like Mecha, Mecha Godzilla. Yep. That dumb. I mean, yeah. Sure, like that's that's cool, man. Um, Timothy Kujawa said something more uh, straightforward, which is I've been calling it for a while. Mecha Godzilla would be humanity's puppet king of the monsters. So when the real king realizes we made the false idol, we will be in serious trouble and i think this is it like this is that kind of third party thing but it's mankind so there are the two elements of the the monster world the last two standing as the trailer say says and now we've made our own um and we've made a monster of ourselves i think is kind of what they're going for there uh which is kind of a cool idea it's kind of radioactivity this natural world uh as represented by kong uh closer to for war and vana and then there's us so it's it's going to be. I hope they lean into that because I love the idea of the mythos of these characters and us interjecting ourselves into it. Yeah. Uh, to your point earlier, if I can, I'll blast through a couple of these men. Um, we've got a, a comment on the site from Preston Dahlman who said the real villain of this movie and the whole franchise is every human character who sucks up screen time, except Ken Watanabe. And I agree. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Truth. True. Yeah. Very very true. We don't give. A about the humans just get to those good good beefy thick boys rolling all over each other in neon that's what i want (laughs) um paul lindhorst says that the real villain are humans and includes a gif from that 1970s commercial where the indigenous man is crying because we are polluting i guess that's a thing which is you know it's a whole thing but i it it it, i think and i don't know if your uh readers say this too is, is also true that it's going to be man who is the villain in this probably like i.e through mechagodzilla yeah you're i mean your readers like our readers are aligned in this mine had some crazy ass theories though which i i want to run through a couple of them really quickly hell Um, yeah and then i will tell you what i think i'm going to tell you how i think all this ties together but Mm -hmm. um this is so Thomas Waldron said, my guess is it's actually Mecha Godzilla, possibly with the organ or brain of King Ghidorah. Drew Little says, I'm wondering if they'll do what they did with Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla, where Mecha Godzilla's literal physical support system was built off the bones of a past Godzilla. Granted, that the film had a spiritual element where the bones brought the spirit of old Godzilla into the machine, which wouldn't fit in this. But nevertheless, if Godzilla can sense the humans messing with other kaiju and awakening his three-headed nemesis in the prior film, he can likely sense the bones of his dece- decedents, it should be descendants, but love it, love um, it. being used for the bastardized vision of him and his kind, which is a little bit kind of actually like what you're talking about, minus all the, the spiritual stuff. Um, and then 
like Rick Heiberger said, my guess is humans bring Kong to fight the fake Godzilla. On the way, real Godzilla shows up and fights Kong on the carrier. Godzilla is defeated and the plate is ripped from his back and Godzilla sinks in the ocean. Kong reaches the city and fights fake Godzilla. Plate reflects atomic breath, melts skin off, showing Mecha Godzilla. Hmm. But I'm going to tell you what I think happens. Bring it, Ben. Tell us. Yeah. Tell us what this movie is about. Let's, so let's I it. think it is possible that some of the destruction that is being wrought is Godzilla. But Godzilla is attacking cities where like one of these rogue factions other than Monarch or maybe Monarch. I don't know who's building Mecha Godzilla, but is like storing or testing nuclear matter to use in building Mecha Godzilla. And so in order to maintain the natural balance godzilla comes out and tries to destroy these cities where this you know kind of natural imbalance is being created as they're trying to make mecha godzilla or they've made mecha godzilla humanity misunderstands that or is manipulated by you know whoever is making mecha godzilla um i also do subscribe to the idea that king Ghidorah's head is in some way like inside mecha godzilla or being used as the pilot or you know controlled in some way because we did see that at the end of uh, the previous film and that by the end of the movie, everything will get straightened out and the two of them will team up and take on Mecha Godzilla. I don't see any way where like Godzilla or Kong actually are defeated, like defeating each other in this. They have to, it has to be a Batman v Superman thing where they team up at the end. I'm not totally convinced that Godzilla isn't actually destroying cities, but if he is, it's because he's trying to stop the creation of this abomination. Yeah, so he's doing like surgical strikes to exactly. either absorb or take out all of the, the exactly. Yeah, yeah, I think that's very possible. Uh, that's 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 entirely possible. That does seem what they're going for because yeah. that is also a kind of a commentary of nature trying to stop us from doing yeah dumb shit. Um, it's the same thing, right? We mess yeah. with nature. We're ta- we're harnessing nuclear energy, and nature's coming to like put us in our place. If there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life. Uh, finds a way exactly it, it, it all tracks it all definitely tracks do you think though that in there somewhere we will get a definitive winner of some kind like any any even like a battle where someone is knocked out and then the other person the other monster kind of walks away because we have thoughts on this that i'll get to in a moment so personally i think godzilla would wipe the floor with king kong even okay. with king kong's like you know godzilla plate you know hammer or whatever oh, <laughs> stormbreaker Storm, Storm as our, were, oh, yeah God, as our uh, readers were saying yeah but uh even with that i still think godzilla is just too powerful um and too big and all these different things he's got a tail i mean what's you know what's king kong got he's got muscles and he's got like agility i guess but i believe it's possible that because I have this theory that Godzilla actually is destroying cities, that they actually will fight and Kong will defeat him, but he won't be dead. You know, he'll be like knocked out or something. Godzilla will, or Kong will think he's won and the humans will start to rejoice. And that's when Mecha Godzilla will be unleashed and they'll have to team up or something. I mm-hmm. think it's a cop out if they don't give us a definitive winner. It's a fine line. It's going to be very like, I think that's what people are going to going into this with, because I think that everybody thinks it's going to be a BVS moment where it's like, well, there's not going to be a clear winner, but maybe there will be. And I think that's what people are are going to be talking about and already have been talking about because we put up not a not an article, but a Facebook image. And we put forth the idea uh, now that the first trailer has been released. Who do you think? is the real king of the monsters, i.e. who is going to win in Godzilla versus Kong. Ahmed Altuki says Godzilla. James Little says Kong. Isra Buang says, I always put money on Godzilla, which suggests that he's put money on Godzilla before, which mm, I don't know if you want to go to Vegas for those odds. <laughs> like, like Isra, yeah. he's yeah. like talking about the UFC. And, you know, like Conor McGregor's fighting. Yeah, like it's and, fiction. Like, yeah, no. He's just like, Godzilla. Put all my money on Godzilla. It's like, what? No, <laughs> no dude. Um, Thomas yeah. Berger says, I think it's Godzilla, but it's not as cut and dry as people think. This is kind of, to your point, Ben, Kong may not have the tail or the berate weapon, but he's got way more speed and agility and he can use weapons. Now, he obviously meant to say breath weapon, but I like the idea that yeah. uh, Godzilla berates people. 
he just berates them. <laughs> berates. <laughs> it's like, you're hairy. You've got dumb looking nipples. You barely have opposable thumbs. <laughs> like, you I have think a big great. Thor ripoff. Yeah. yeah, you're, 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 that's big copyright. Yeah. Um, yeah. Adam Hurl, uh, did the, a bunch of write in votes for this. Okay. And guys, this is not going to happen. As cool as this would be, Adam uh, writes in with Voltron. Yeah, cool. That's great. Voltron would just beat both of them. Christopher Deloria writes in with the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Um, Pete Kayser, uh comes in with politicians. I don't know what that even means. Like politicians are the bad guys, I guess. Uh, Anthony Fletcher says your mom. So that's fun. Uh, I th- this is probably my favorite one, but uh, my real ones, my real like uh, comments of the week are later. But this is my favorite one. Uh, Doug Welch the third says the real king of the monsters is the friends we made along the way, uh, <laughs> which is pretty great. And yeah. these are my two favorite ones, and I'm just going to leave it here, uh, and we can finish out. Roger Abney Elledge says Harambe will lend Kong his power, giving Kong cosmic level strength to overpower Godzilla and Mecha Ghidorah. And then yep. Don Pepka also says Kong is going to roll out in a Hamabre shirt with a tanker truck full of white claw <laughs> and smash Godzilla's face through some drywall. <laughs> Beautiful, Don. Fantastic. Don, Roger, thank you very much for that. That's just made my entire night. Um, coming with our <laughs> out for Harambe and Godzilla versus Kong. Any kind of final thoughts before we wrap everything up? Ben on Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah, so I have an honorable mention for comment of the week from Kyle Lewis, and that's only because Kyle Lewis is literally Screen Rant's comment moderator <laughs> on the <laughs> Facebook page. So like he and he is also the one who helps collect some of the comments for me, and he put his own comment in here, which like I guess, you know, it's kind of like laughing at your own joke. He said needs more Godzuki, which oh, true. Fair. Yeah. True fair and then the other one that i have is matt bush and i think this is a good i think this is a good good note to end on because when you think of this epic battle you know that's like you know 30 years now in the making of really seeing these guys like with modern special effects and and stuff like that matt bush says see everywhere post i've seen is just people arguing over who will win kong or godzilla reminds me of when people were fighting over Team Edward and Team Jacob from Twilight. He's right. He's right. He's absolutely right. Look, and look what happened to our society then. Look where we are yeah, now because of that. It's true. Now freaking Edward is playing Batman. Maybe <sighs> Kong can play Batman later. Oh my god. In any event. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely uh, true. Um, this could be the next Twilight if we're all very, very lucky. It's going to be a very steamy movie, I feel like. In the end, really, it's going to be Godzilla and, and Kong f- that's really what it's going to be. But it's going to be yeah. real tasteful, like super tasteful. Lots of soft like, lighting, <laughs> candles, burning cities in their wake, that sort of thing. It's going to be really nice, everybody. Um, yeah, it's like it's like Bridgerton with Monsterverse. That's, that's basically exactly. what it's going to be. Monsterverse Bridgerton. Yeah, I'm down for that. Actually, I'm here for it. <laughs>